Well hello and welcome to the third instalment of Exploring Cornwall, the finale. On this vlog I return to a beautiful location, St Necton's Glen. Let's start it. Good afternoon and welcome to uh, St Necton's Glen here on the uh, other side of Cornwall. So we're staying in St Hostel, we've actually driven over to the other side, over Bobby Moor and uh, yeah, not far away from Boscastle. So yeah, we're just walking across there now to, uh, to this beautiful water waterfall. Now I've vlogged from there before and because I've vlogged from there before, I knew not to bring the microphone, so I apologise about the sound quality, it's probably not as good as it normally is. Um, it's just relying on the, uh, the Osmo mic, the inbuilt thing. So uh, yeah, everything just gets drowned. The waterfall's quite wild. We've had a bit of rain here over the past couple of days. So yeah, hopefully this, uh, this waterfall will be uh, yeah, full torrent. But yeah, it's really quite interesting when you get here. So we've got about a mile, mile and a half walk along this path and across through the forest, sort of through a ravine into uh, where you follow the stream to where this waterfall, uh, where this waterfall is. And uh, yeah, it, it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous around here. I was debating whether to do a vlog, another vlog from here, but uh, yeah, I think you guys need to see the beauty. Because this waterfall is actually at the end of the stream, when you actually go through, it's a privately owned area. And when you actually pay to the admission to get in, you get offered free wellies. I've brought my own, so, uh, and Sarah's brought her own as well. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're well prepared. We're not tourists, you know. Sorry, after recording that, Sarah has advised me that her wellies are fur lined. Women. We're gonna head off there now and uh, yeah, just sort of have another look at um, St. Necton's Glen. Catch you in a minute. I never understand that. I'm just making my way through the uh, steps now. Got a bit of a sweat on. I forgot how many steps there were, so uh, yeah, it does you good. We've just seen the top of the waterfall. There's a lot less water than there was here last time, which is what, two and a half years ago. So uh, if these don't sort of show, I'll uh, do a comparison to, uh, to what I took last time. And we'll, uh, yeah, compare really, I suppose. So right, we're gonna uh, pay and then head down and actually uh, do some photography now. See you in a minute. Oh, got water on the lens and everything. So just like last time, it's uh, it's actually almost the exact same weather conditions. It's completely misty, um, starting to get a little bit, uh, well, drizzle across. So I uh, don't know if that add or take away from the images, we'll, uh, we'll see. But there's certainly a lot, a lot less water. Um, when we were walking here last time, I remember the sound, the torrenting water, torrenting water going across was uh, magnificent. But uh, yeah, it's a lot quieter than this today. You can tell it's raining, the umbrella's up.
So there we have it, it's the Nexon's Glen. Absolute glorious place to shoot. There's been a couple of people coming in whilst we've been here. Uh, it's it's midweek, it's a Wednesday, bit of a damp day. I think these are probably the best days to come. I think for photography wise, if you're trying to get here over a weekend, no, don't bother. Midweek, drizzly, damp, sort of nothing day is ideal for you. I mean, let's face it, you don't need the sunlight here anyway. So uh, yeah, from St. Lexington's Glen, I think I'm done here. We'll have a look at those images now. Just before I sign out from here, it's a bit of a change from what I, I, when I said before that the uh, the water wasn't rushing as much, the stream's not as, as busy as it was. It's actually a bonus because I've been able to get closer to the water. Now what happened before is all the spray of the water was coming out of that hole there, spraying across, getting absolutely everything soaked. Today is a completely different day. So um, yeah, I don't know, maybe the summertime is at the best time to come or after, after we've had a drought. I can imagine when it's too dry, it, yeah, it, there's no point. But yeah, being stood here now, absolutely perfect. Oh, so that was a beautiful St. Nectan's Glen, a place of real mystery and wonder, but, and this is a, a difficult one. Now, I don't mind paying for these locations, £7.45 per person. Yeah, some would argue it's a little bit steep, but yeah, what you get when you get down there is just basically a waterfall. Now, the issue I have with that place is if it's kept in tip-top condition, then great, but it just feels as if it's full of trinkets almost gypsy good luck charms. As you can tell by that footage, there's loads of ribbons from the trees and, and statues and things like that. Now, some people will love that, other people will really hate it. I'm sort of sitting on the fence and I can't stop asking the question, have they ruined it a little bit? I think the hippie side of me thinks, yeah, they've done something really nice with this and, and you know, made something quite sort of spiritual. The down to earth, grumpy old man side of me thinks they've just ruined it. They've just put a load of cheap plasticky bits everywhere and yeah, if you were to do this to any other natural beauty spot, you'd be arrested. Obviously the area is privately owned so they can actually do what they want with it. But I think my final verdict, they've gone a little bit too far with it. That place is a place of beauty, naturally, and there's nothing wrong, and that's the word, naturally. Nothing wrong with keeping it all natural. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like I say, I'm completely sat on the fence on this one. Also let me know if you shot there and what the weather conditions are like when you actually got there. As I said in the video, it can be quite a difficult place to shoot. If the water's too heavy, the spray's coming everywhere. If it's too, if it's, there's nothing there, there's no point. So it's all about making sure that the weather is right or that we've had a certain amount of rainfall uh, before you actually visit. Whatever you do, just make sure you've got plenty of cloths to wipe that lens down. Oh, and where possible, steal your girlfriend's umbrella. 
there is a lot more to be had from that location and I wish I had a little bit more time. Like I say, all these three videos were our holiday and you've kind of come along on our holiday, which has been great having you there. But instead of doing the usual, taking a standard shop, then looking for another composition, I decided to go and have a coffee. Well, it was raining, so there's plenty more to be had from that location. It's just all about exploring. So there we have it, the end of my series of Exploring Cornwall, the three vlogs I wanted to do. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for coming on this journey with me. We spend the rest of the week just exploring, doing a, li a lot of touristy things. Walks on the beach, walks in the countryside, into pubs, into bars, getting slightly drunk, having nice food, good wine, the things you should be doing on holiday. So if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It would be great to have you on board of the channel. Also, leave a note in the comments. Let me know who you are, where you're from, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So after reviewing all the video, all the photographs to get these three vlogs out, I really miss Cornwall. It's, it's, it's one of those places that I just love exploring. It brings back so many childhood memories for me, and it just makes me want to go and return, which is good because next week, I return. But you guys are gonna to have to wait to see that. Something a little bit different, but hopefully very interesting. So from Warrington and St. Nectons Glen, it's time to say goodbye. All the best. Next video out as soon as I can make it. Bye-bye now.